Hello Commanders, Commander Plater here, back with another Elite Dangerous video, and we just got a release date and a teaser trailer for the first Beyond Update beta. Well, let's not waste any time and let's have a look at what we know will be included in the beta. First up we have the Chieftain. Now it's labelled as Elite Dangerous Horizons Commanders will also be able to take to the stars in the new Alliance Chieftain, designed not only to dish out punishment but to avoid it. Manufactured by Lacon Spaceways, the Chieftain is more manoeuvrable than other ships of the similar size and weight and its combat profile means it can more than hold its own in a fight. Safe to say this has arrived earlier than expected and is much welcome. It varies vastly in design to other ships and it looks good. Next up we have improved core mechanics. Chapter 1 of Beyond will bring improvements to some Elite Dangerous core mechanics, including accessibility enhancements to the engineering mechanics, an overhaul of mission rewards and big changes to the crime and punishment. We'll be sharing more information on the changes to crime and punishment and the engineers in a future post here on the forums and in the live streams mentioned above. To me, this sounds like a final decision hasn't been made yet, but I'm okay with that and more details will follow and we'll have to wait and see. This is likely going to be quite a divisive section of the update. Wing Missions. Chapter 1 of Beyond will give you the chance to take on wing missions with your fellow commanders, sharing both the efforts and rewards. This is most welcome for me and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's implemented and worth mentioning some of the challenges involved with something like this, scaling in particular. What's tough for a wing of Vipers is going to be really easy for a wing of Anacondas. There may also be an opportunity in here for people to solo wing missions, but that should be something interesting and we'll see how that goes. Revised trade data. Commanders will now be able to access trade data from systems they have previously visited in order to make more informed decisions when shipping goods across the Milky Way. Now this won't affect me too much as someone who doesn't really do trading, but this could be the thing that pulls me in. This should mean that you don't have to go and be docked somewhere to know the commodity prices. This is going to be a huge time saver and reduce the reliance on third party tools, which I think is really important. In a game like Elite Dangerous, you should be able to do everything in game. Certainly there are lots of people out there who do lots of good work to make sure the game is playable and a lot more interesting and able to be a little bit more user friendly but everything in game that's the goal for me planetary visual improvements chapter one also includes the first of the planetary visual improvements coming as part of the beyond series of updates with more surface level improvements coming later in the year bringing a new vibrancy to the elite dangerous galaxy really this should mean less beige and we get a more vibrant galaxy once more. Amazing, can't wait. And finally, Galnet Audio. With the introduction of Galnet Audio, you'll be able to catch up on the latest news from across the galaxy without ever leaving the action. In your ships is read to us, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is gonna be some kind of text-to-speech driven feature, but anything apart from reading a wall of text is welcome. Now one final thing I wanted to do in this video is to take a look at the announcement trailer as there are a couple of things in there to get excited about and a little bit of speculation to be had. First we see a planet that looks alive, part of a galaxy not just a ball of dust hanging there in the sky, but something you want to land on and drive around on. And also, what's that blue stuff? Next we get a lovely close up of the Chieftain. I can't wait to get behind the wheel of one of these and see what it can do. I do hope that this image will lay some speculation to rest about the size of the ship too. It is going to be a medium pad ship and it is designed as what we can tell, at least a heavy fighter. Finally, we are seeing a Thargoid scout ship which is active. We've encountered two of these crashed vessels before. The active scout could possibly bridge the gap for which ships can take part in the Thargoid storyline. Or maybe this could finally be the second faction we've been speculating about. When does all this happen? 25th of January. We're going to be finding out more details over the next couple of weeks, both on live streams with Ed Lewis and also through forum posts, so keep your eyes peeled. As usual commanders, leave me a comment and tell me what you think, also please like and subscribe and make sure you turn on notifications, that way you get a notification every single time I put out a new video. And whilst you're there, please check out the links in the video description if you're looking to support the channel. And once again, thank you for watching. Commander Placer, out.